You're sweet, boy. Yes, you are. Stretching out. Stretch that little body of yours out, okay? Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. All right, guys, what you're looking at right there is an FX Monsoon. Now, this is a, a regulated semi-auto. Now, unfortunately, this is a model that FX has discontinued, but you can still get the... Hey. Damn it. Unfortunately, FX has discontinued the Monsoon, but you can still get them pretty regularly on the Airgun Classifieds for between seven and $900 used. Probably sold for around $1,800 when it's new. I shopped for a couple years to try to find a really good deal on a nice one. And after about two years, I ended up with this guy. I think I paid about $750 with shipping. Anyway, I have loved it. The reason I like it is because it's regulated mainly, but also because it's very lightweight and balanced. So it's just a great gun to handle. It handles great. And that semi-automatic with the trigger they got on there is just phenomenal. Really a lot of fun. So we'll get more into that. It's a good accurate gun for the most part. We'll get into that as well. I'll show you the groups at 35 and 50. And yes, it's served me well for uh, about two years now. So it's been my favorite gun for a long time as well. All right, guys, here's some hardcore stats on the FX Monsoon. It's got a removable 12 shot magazine. This is for the 22 caliber. Lothar Walther match grade barrel. That's good to know. 500 millimeter barrel. It's got a match trigger that's not adjustable. But you guys will see, it's got a sweet trigger. I really like it. 180cc capacity air tank on there. So it's shooting 920 feet per second. The cylinder is not removable. It says 30 to 40 shots at full power. Manual safety. 11 millimeter dovetail scope rail. 43 inches overall length. Quick charge charging system. So here's what FX has to say about the FX Monsoon. The FX Monsoon is the ultimate in semi-automatic air guns. The fast firing semi-automatic system uses the wasted air behind the pellet to cycle the bolt and index the magazine. FX incorporated their 12 shot magazine to provide the maximum amount of fun. While the noise from the blast of the air is reduced by self cycling action, the full size barrel shroud reduces the muzzle report down further to a near whisper. I can attest to that. Keeping with traditional lines, the Monsoon uses a standard air cylinder which holds 200 bar of pressure. The cocking bolt handle has a locking rear detent slot which enables the rifle to be safely loaded and refilled without any risk of misfire. The FX Monsoon has a disabling safety catch on the left side of the action which prevents the rifle from firing. The FX Monsoon delivers 28 to 30 foot-pounds of consistent energy in 22 caliber, 18 foot-pounds in 177, with seemingly no felt recoil and the repeating mechanism is smooth and positive. The rifle has a 36 shot per charge capacity in 22, 48 shots per charge in 177, which makes it fun to shoot, yet highly effective for hunting applications. The 12 shot magazine, 16 shots in 177, and semi-automatic action makes for extremely fast follow-up shots in the field. The FX Monsoon combines rapid fire excitement with traditional lines and practical application. It is an impressive gun and it's too bad that they stopped making them. So this is made of like a hard plastic, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe. It's very, very solid and it has a coating over it. You can see mine chipped off a little bit, but that was my fault. The other side, you have your safety right here with this kind of spring thing and... When you push that forward, watch out. Now I drop some oil in there every once in a while, and I drop some oil in there, and this is my result.
So as long as you let that trigger reset, it's always gonna fire, so watch. Now my trigger resets. Now if I keep it back here, well it still fires, but basically you just, this is your first stage, pop, first stage again, pop, and you can just, there's a little reset right there. You just keep clicking that thing all day. So once you get used to that, you can really pop off rounds quick with this bad boy. Okay, this is the fill probe for the FX Monsoon and the fill probe for the Avanix. They are pretty similar, but all the Avanix fill probes work in the Monsoon. So I like to use JSB pellets in mine, of course. Those are always going to cycle the best, but all the pellets cycle. So the Monsoon takes your basic Marauder style magazine. You just basically do the wheel forward like that, and it takes the inner wheel with it. Then when it's spun all the way over, you put a pellet in backwards. That's a piranha right there. And then you can turn it over and fill these all in. So you basically just keep turning the wheel like that. Until you're all set. Now I actually want to use these domed ones rather than these piranhas. So I could do some rapid fire for cheap out of my monsoon. However, I can't get these open. They're like stuck shut. All right, so to load this guy, you just pop that safety back. Just pull this charging handle back. Lock it in there. Take this notch right here, right over the piece of barrel sticking out there. Just slide that baby on in. You're ready to rock and roll. Then you just be like, 12 shots. If you didn't get that, you take that notch, slide it in, push that forward, remove your safety. 12 shots just like that. All right guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. I got my monsoon looking fly with a red dot sight right there. We are about to do some cron graphery. So I got my Gamma Chrono Master. Got to hook the battery up. Got my favorite JSBs, 18 grains, 14 grains, 15 grains, 25 grains, 33 grains. Now, I want to spit out a lot of ammo, so I've been using these Crossman Premiers whenever I can. This is about $5 at Walmart, $16. So now that I'm shooting my air guns every day, that becomes an issue. Sniper lights, 14.04, 14.66. Anyway, we're gonna just chronograph all these real fast, and then we're gonna do a full shot string with the 18 grains. So these crossbin pirahanas, just as the name indicates, it's got teeth in the front there and they cycle really good probably put about six mags through it rapid fire yesterday not a problem not a jam once of course this gun never jams the manometer is on the end of this bad boy so I'm gonna top it off a little bit if I didn't mention you need to fill your air gun slowly I got a meter on my fill thing which happens to be totally off but I'm gonna keep my eye on the meter that's on the gun while I'm filling it Hey, mister, he's a tire climber. Hi, hi there, Crazo. I like to let the air out slow sometimes so it doesn't freak my cat out. All right, so a pretty common pellet that you're gonna be shooting through here is 14 grain, around 14 grain. So we got 14 grain, H&N's, 14 grain Premier's, and 14 and 15 grain GSB's. So just do these real fast and see what FPS these things come out at. Got this pointing at my pellet trap down there, so we're good to go. Let's get this party started. You stay away from here, okay? I'm trying to 
film an air gun channel video. Hey, stop, mister. The last time you're going to see that guy because he's uh, going to his forever home today. We're going to be starting off with a 14.3 grain Pirhanas. Wow, 900 feet per second. Sweet. Oh. Wow, so that's what they look like. And you go, here we go, 14.3 grain premieres. The affordable pellet. Oh, 900 feet per second. Awesome. 911. Cool. So we're still almost at 200. All right, now we're going for the 14 grain JSB exact. Nine twenty-two for the JSBs. All right, fifteen grain JSBs. Eight eighty-one. Okay, cool. Okay, so eight eighty on those. Okay, now we're on to the fourteen point six filled trophy H and N. Nine fourteen. Error one. Cool. Now we're going to go with these sniper lights that are a little bit unique. Okay guys, sniper lights, 14.04 grains. Damn, 935. Alright guys, we did the 15.8 grain already. So now we're just ready for the 18 grain. And then some freakishly heavy ones. Including 21 grain H&Ns. 25 grain JSBs and 33 grain JSB 22 calibers. All right, here we go. My favorite pellet in the world 22 caliber 18 grain JSBs. Chrono, don't fail me now. 836 for a little punch packer. 827. Nice. A Barracuda 21 grain, 21.14 grain. Damn, that was shaking dust off the target down there. One more time. All right, next up we got JSB Exact, 25 grains. 724. 719. Holy crap, you guys, I thought those ones were big, but these are getting, like, ridiculous. Those 25 grainers fit the magazine, so we'll see about these. All right, guys, those 33 grains just barely didn't fit in there my wheel won't rotate so just have to single shot load these bad boys all right now we got the JSB jumbo beast 33 grains actually 34 grains 33.956 holy crap 619 yo man I'd love to sling some of those 620 wow they got consistency there I like that so uh, anyway, we might use those in some of the accuracy testing. I got my pellet trap from Rick, a buddy of mine on Airgun Warriors. He sent me that, and it's about the handiest thing I've ever had. Every single pellet that I've shot pretty much is in there. You can see right here, I was doing some target shooting with my Brokaw Commander. I'm messing with the power settings, the five-level power wheel, and trying to find the best speed for different pellets. And Anyway, that was obviously not the best one. But check this out. I shot this the other night. 50 yards with the FX crown. Now, I was kind of sighting it in and I started just all hitting in one spot. I think this was my first one. I was sighting in and I started getting it perfect, all hitting in one spot. And I was like, I think I did this group right here. Yes, I did. I don't know what that was all about, but I did this group right here and I was like, wow, that thing is nailing them. And I went one, two, three, right in the center of the bullseyes at 50 yards with the FX crown. So this target right here and the FX crown is the scale by which all air guns are measured for me now, like accuracy anyway. So I popped that up to like 202 bar right there.
All right, I'm losing count, but we are around 20 shots. Looks like I'm in exactly 175, 175 bar, right? Halfway in between the 200 and the 150 right now. So this should be shot about 20 through 32. Here we go. Dang, you guys, that's probably exactly 30 shots, and it's just nailing them very consistently around 860. Let's keep going. So I'm going to do one more clip, and that's going to be more or less 40 shots. All right, we're out here in the bright sunlight. Let's see if we can finish this. 12-round clip. Wow, this thing just won't quit. We're past 40 shots now, I'm sure. Oh, you guys, honestly, pellets don't grow on trees, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot four more. All right, we finally got our drop off to 855, so we'll call that good. So definitely, we're getting 40 solid shots per fill on this. And it's looking like 26 of those shots are pretty much right at 860 feet per second. All right, you guys, I'm going to do some accuracy testing with this bad boy. So check out what I've been up to. I took these old weather vanes or whatever they're called, totally rusted, gave them a little sand job, painted them red, and now they are my 100-yard targets. This is another little idea I had for 100-yard shooting. Now, I had to sell my Uragon before I got a chance to try this out on it, but you hit that bell at 100 yards, you're a good shooter. I actually cleaned out my pellet trap yesterday and check out what I got. Let's see here, get a close-up. It's really kind of interesting. These are all the pellets that I've shot mainly out of the Brokaw Commander, a few other ones in the last two weeks maybe. So it's really kind of interesting to see the different shapes that they get morphed into. But back to our story, I got that target at exactly 35 yards. I thought you were getting adopted yesterday. Just sit there and keep my place warm till I'm ready to shoot, okay? Hey, Mama Kitty. We're shooting over here. You might not want to be in the line of fire there. You're doing a good job. All right, you guys, that was 11 shots. All right, you guys, I've been saying 12 shots this whole video, and indeed, all the stats online say it has a 12-shot magazine, but for some reason, my magazine holds 11. So, anyway, just put 11 22 calibers through this hole. Let's see what's really going on with some coinage. So, let's see. It's not a dime, but... One of the main holes is a dime. So a nickel covers most of it. And we have ourselves a, if we're going to be generous, I just shot a quarter size group. So one thing about the monsoon, and this is my excuse, is that, hey. Now, one of the things I did notice about the monsoon right when I got it, and I was trying to shoot accuracy, is that it says in the description that it is almost no recoil but it does actually kick back a little bit, which is not what I was used to with most of the PCPs I was shooting. It took a little bit of practice before I could get my best groups. Just on a hunch, I think that I should try some 15 grain JSPs because they were almost the exact speed, the two shots that I shot through the chronograph yesterday. So maybe these are the pellet that will group a little better. 35 yards, 15 grain JSPs.
Okay guys, here we go. I sighted my 15 grains in on those other two bullseyes and now we're gonna go for this middle one. This will be an official 15 grain JSB accuracy test at 35 yards and we are at about 150 bar. So those did at least as good as the 18 grains, maybe a little better, let's check it out. Not a bad looking group. Let's take it back to the lab and see what we got. If you're wondering what that pinging sound is, it's uh, this steel right here. And there should be a bunch of pellets on the ground right there. Huh, not sure where they all went, but <laughs> they're splattered like pancakes somewhere. Ignore these two, because that's when I was sighting it in. So, this official group with the 15 grain JSBs. Did better than the 18 grain GSBs actually. Looks like we could fit most of those under a dime there, except for maybe two and a half shots. Fit right under a dime right there. Very nice. For a semi auto, too, at 35 yards, we got nine out of 11 shots under a nickel. 15 grain GSBs. That might be the pellet for this gun right there. Over here, there's three burn piles, and I set up some targets. So I'm actually going to shoot those from an elevated position. Alright guys, we got 41 at the close pile. 44. Little coyote out there is uh, 52, and our zombie target 56 yards. And let's look at these guys. Where are you? There you are. 64. And it looks like we have a 10 degree decline. Okay, you guys, check this out. This is called the Daisy Rocket Shot. You just basically put a cannon like this. Then when you hit that paddle, that thing's going to fly up in the air, maybe 10 feet, and you try to shoot it before it hits the ground. Now, I doubt I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can, but we're going to at least try to start us off. Oh, there's the can right there, so I did not hit it, I don't think.
headshots on the zombies, you guys. Six yards. All right, you guys, it's a little windy out, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an official 50 yard group. All right, 11 shots, you guys, and obviously that's not the tightest group, but uh, some of them decided to start going in the same hole, so pretty good. Semi-auto, 50 yards, 18 grain. That could be a more accurate pellet out there, who knows. So let me see if I can hit these poppers. 11 shots, 11 poppers, 50 yards. Awesome! Alright you guys, let's hear this whisper quiet. So 97 is a little loud compared to some of the moderated PCPs. Alright you guys, my final thoughts on the Monsoon. Definitely a quality gun. It's uh, not a precision shooter. It's going to hold a decent group though, at 35 and 50 yards. For semi-auto, it's accurate. It's got a great trigger. Yeah, it's a fun gun to have around. A good gun to have in your collection if you're uh, if you're into collecting PCPs. Like I said, it served me well for a couple years, and it is one of my favorite guns. So that's it, guys. That's about all I got to say about the monsoon. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.